What's going on everybody? It's your man Lash French uh, back with another video. Hopefully everybody is having a good day today. This video is going to be a full day of eating. I haven't done one of these in a very long time it seems like. And these are some of your favorite videos. And unlike the previous videos I've done with a full day of eating, I'm going to show you guys literally everything I'm going to eat throughout the day. So before I wasn't showing you guys snacks. But now we're going to get an accurate reading on the macros and you'll see every tiny piece of food that I eat today. Dude, what is this? This looks ridiculous. I'm leaving it there for video purposes. Before we get into the full day of eating though, if this is your first time viewing, welcome to my channel. This channel is all about improving your life through a plant-based diet and any other aspect of your life through personal development. So if you want to join that ride, then hit that subscribe button below. So this is going to be a good one because I got a lot of new recipes for you guys, especially if you don't follow me on Instagram, which you should. I'm posting a lot of good recipes on there. And I do recommend sticking around for the whole video so you get every single recipe idea and you know exactly what to eat to build some muscle on a vegan diet. It's already 12 o'clock. My eating habits have not been good lately the past couple days. So we're gonna have to cram this shit in to be honest. But the first meal is going to be a chickpea gyro. It's my own little uh, twist on a gyro. If you don't know what a gyro is, it's like pita bread with a bunch of Greek stuff in it. So you see how I'm making the chickpeas and everything else. All right, well, I'm way too hungry right now to start even preparing this food because it's gonna take a little while. So I'm gonna have some mixed nuts before I eat the big meal. So I'll just probably eat like a serving or two of this. So you're gonna see the macros right now and then we'll add that to the total. Any types of nuts or seeds, great for bulking. But yeah, let's get into this meal. Let's get into it. finally complete the prep time was about like 25 30 minutes just due to the chickpeas but yeah as you saw we got some roasted chickpeas we have that homemade tzatziki sauce which I really recommend you put what I listed on the screen in because I didn't have all those ingredients and then we have onions red onion and then grape tomatoes and a little bit of romaine lettuce on top and then that pita bread to hold it all together. Am I going to be able to hold this properly? This is what it looks like when I try to hold it. Yeah, you see, it's just, it's not working, but we're gonna eat all of it right now. I'm gonna dig in. Just realized I forgot to put the macro count. So here it is on screen, and we are adding that to the total. So let's get into meal number two now. So before my next meal, I'm gonna have some of this watermelon. You'll probably see that I'll be snacking throughout the day just to get in the right amount of calories. Cause it's already 2.30 and I've only had one meal. So I'm gonna have some of this. I haven't eaten any yet. It's just from the last time I ate it. Please excuse the bowl of watermelon juice that looks like blood there. Anyway, I'm gonna dig into this and show you how much is left when I'm finished. All right, well, this is literally 30 seconds later. Here's what we have for the end result. Hopefully it looks different because I couldn't really tell when I looked back on the footage. So you're gonna see the macros for this right now. I'll see what I can get out of this. And then that's in the total. 
and I will cut back to you guys when we get to the next meal. So for this meal, I'm going to be talking over it instead of having music. So I want you guys to comment down below which style you like better, me talking while making it or having music in the background while I'm making it. So meal number two is gonna be chocolate pancakes. I found a recipe similar to this online and then like made it my own way. So these are super good and they only contain like four ingredients. So I'm gonna get into the recipe right now. So we're starting off by throwing two thirds of a cup into a blender. You can use like any type of blender or a Nutribullet. I personally have a Nutribullet. And then comes probably my favorite part of this entire dish. This is Orgain's organic protein. I use the chocolate fudge kind for the chocolate pancakes, obviously. But I've been using this for a very long time now, a couple months. And I can say that it is the best protein powder that you will find the tastiest for its price. It's super cheap on Amazon and I've been using it for a couple months now so I would recommend it. And I think you guys will like it a lot so check out the link in the description if you wanna buy this. Then about half a teaspoon of baking powder. And that's it for the dry ingredients so we're just gonna mix this up before we put in the wet ingredients. Then a fourth a teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. And then if you really wanna make it sweet, you can add some type of syrup. I'm gonna add agave to this. Agave syrup is not really that good for you. I wouldn't recommend it. I'd probably go with date syrup if anything. So I'm only gonna use a quarter tablespoon of this. Well, God damn it, guys. I forgot to put in the almond milk before I put in the wet ingredients. But yeah, put the almond milk in after you mix all the dry ingredients together. Don't do what I just did. And I think we used about half a cup of this. So that's it for the batter. It should be in between thick and runny, so it should go as fast as that trying to come out of the bowl. And now we're gonna throw this on the skillet. Put that shit on medium heat. They really don't take long to cook. Probably like one or two minutes on each side. All right, they're just about done. Now we got a banana and peanut butter to go on top. My two favorite things in the world. Besides Emily, of course, make sure you separate the pancakes and spread an even layer on each. And this is gonna be about two tablespoons of peanut butter. And there we go, meal number two. You can obviously add more syrup on top. I'm just gonna stay away from the sugar today. So you guys are gonna see the macros for this right now. And as you can see for how small it is, decent amount of macros. Decent amount of calories actually, not macros. So yeah, try these out if you haven't and try out that protein powder because it's my favorite so far, and I'm gonna dig into this, and you will see my next snack or meal. So I calculated everything so far, and I still got 1,900 calories to go, and it's already about four o'clock, so I'm gonna step my game up by eating some of these blue corn chips, which I've talked about not eating if you wanna lose weight, but we bulking, so. Gonna eat a serving of them, macros right now, into the total, and I'm going grocery shopping for the next couple meals, which you guys have never seen before, so let's get into that next meal. Okay, everybody, going to chill with some friends, decided I can't spend the whole day in the kitchen. So I needed like a quick little meal, and I got it right here for you guys. Something you guys have seen before quite a bit because, you know, it's just super easy and high in protein, and it's one of my favorite things ever. So I don't know whether to call this a meal or a snack yet, I'm gonna figure it out, but you're gonna see the macros right now. And then the total, but I'm gonna go chill with my friends for a little bit. And we are gonna show you guys some brand new meals. So stick around for the next couple meals because those are the best. Back from the guy's house, it is time for meal number, well, three if I didn't count the peanut butter and banana sandwich as a meal, but four if I did. So this one is a big one. It should be a big one with these new tortillas I got. And I am excited for this one. This is one of my favorites I've made recently. So the recipe for these tacos is right now we have one cup of basmati rice simmering. Not sure how much of the rice I'm gonna use yet. I'm gonna have what I end up using on the screen for you guys to see. And then we're gonna use a serving of tofu. It's like you're unwrapping a present of soy. Then we're gonna use half an avocado and spread it evenly on all four of the tortillas. Then we got some orange pepper. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna use yet. I'll have it on the screen. Also. I like using the soy boy tofu. 
Shout out to the dude who uh, commented about me being a soy boy on one of my posts. I'm gonna put that on the screen. Excellent stuff by that guy. Then we got these soft corn tortillas that I just picked up. Maria and Ricardo's awesome macros for bulking because it's 100 calories per tortilla and they're five grams of protein each. So this is 400 calories and 20 grams of protein right here. Then I'm gonna use some romaine. You'll see the measurements for that. And then to top it off, gonna have Daya Pepper Jack. Still haven't tried this kind yet. I mean, I took a few bites of it and it was freaking bomb. So I'm sure it's gonna be good in the tacos as well. And then we have Jack's Special Salsa by Garden Fresh Gourmet. This is like hands down the best store-bought salsa you can get. So if you can find this somewhere, then just add it to like any savory dish you have and it'll make it better. So once that basmati rice is done, I'm gonna start making it and then you guys will see the final result. And there we have it, we got four tacos. This should be pretty high calorie and pretty high protein. Also, this is what's left over from what I made. I'm gonna be eating that as well. But here's the macros for the four tacos right now, as well as that. And it's going in the total. So by now we should be pretty close to hitting our total calories for the day, which is about 3,300. So it's time to freaking eat this. It took forever to put together. So I'll catch you guys at the last meal of the day. Finally, the last meal. It is late. It's like 1130. I am still full from that last meal, but god damn it, we're gonna do it for the bulk. Our final meal today is gonna be a smoothie bowl, and you guys have seen this before quite a few times now, so I'm just gonna show you what's going in it. I'm not gonna show you the whole process going through it. Then I will tell you the final macros for the day, so. Already in it, we have half a cup of mixed berries and half a banana, and then a scoop, the amazing protein powder. And then we're gonna put in half a cup of this, and then a tablespoon of this. It's peanut butter, by the way. And some cinnamon. And then top it off with granola and the other half of the banana. So let's make this. So here it is, the smoothie bowl that most of you have probably seen before. I'm gonna try to finish this even though I'm so freaking full. But putting the macros on the screen right now, and then we got the total for the day, finally. So I didn't realize how hard it actually would be to get in all these calories. I don't know if I've really been bulking most days, but when I go out, I know I'm really eating a lot, like at restaurants. When I make all the shit at home like I did today, it's a little tougher to get those calories higher. But yeah, just trying to get in that caloric surplus, man. It's it's tough on a vegan diet sometimes. We're gonna end the video there. It is late, I'm tired. I'm ready to go to bed with a full ass stomach. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, and you're gonna try out some of these recipes, then leave a like for me as always. I appreciate everybody who sticks around till the end of the video, so thank you for that, and I will catch you guys in the next video.